I just wanted to pop on here real quick and um, quickly say that I do not have the confidence I feel like I need to be a YouTuber or to post on YouTube just because I lack confidence within myself. Um, and I feel like I am doing really annoying stuff and I don't know if that is my anxiety or just me not being used to this and trying to make it a thing that I do all the time but most of the time I shouldn't say most of the time but in the past two times that I have done this I just don't really feel like my videos are that great it is something that I'm going to be working on so if you do watch it I do really appreciate you just viewing my video and please ignore the things that you may find annoying I am still critiquing and finding my voice on here. I really do appreciate you guys. Good morning. Today is August 3rd. I am getting ready for work. It is 7.06 in the morning. I'm about to do my hair and get my day started. Try to <laughs> clean out these bags. And then when my fiance gets out of the shower, I'm going to go hop in the shower. But I'm going to do my hair first just so I have time to actually do my hair and try not to get it wet. So I am all dressed and ready for work. I'm about to do my makeup, but I was just looking at my outfit and I have my shirt tucked in. I don't know if I want to leave it tucked in just because of my belly fat. Um, or untuck it, but I love the tucked in look, just not on me. So I might just untuck it to give me little bit of room to hide. Does that look better? I think so. I normally wear this shirt with a tank top underneath it and open, but the only tank top that I have, the only tank top that I have is burgundy. I don't know how that would go with this, like, blue. It's not navy blue. I wouldn't necessarily call it turquoise either, but I Maybe I do need a pillow tank top. I'm gonna do my makeup first though. Okay, so we have an outfit change. I unbuttoned this and put this on because I could not find the tank top I was looking for. So this is the outfit. First so, off, these pants on. And then still have the same earrings. So I'm here at work. I'm apparently the first person here because nobody else is here. But I stopped at McDonald's. It's my Thursday tradition to stop at McDonald's. I got a chicken biscuit with a hash brown and a medium sugar free vanilla iced coffee. Um, and then for lunch, I'm thinking about getting Subway. It, like I said, it's a Thursday t tradition for me um, just because today is pretty much the day I get paid. And then when I get off, I'm going to go grocery shopping. So I think I'm going to make a list. So this was the wrap that I got from Subway. It did end up being ham and turkey, which was really good. And I had it loaded down with a bunch of veggies. I had tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers, pickles, um, onions, bell pepper, and um, black olives. And just a little bit of mayonnaise. And it was amazing and really big and really filling. This is just a little snack it ended up being 80 calories for the entire pack it was really good it was just a snack that i picked up to hold me over until i could get to dinner done for myself um i got off work and i went to the grocery store but then i had to run around and do a few other things in town before i came home and this just kind of held me over hi i'm finally home from work settling down i'm cooking a spaghetti squash for dinner. I'm going to make shrimp scampi out of it. So I have the scampi sauce and then the shrimp um, thawing out right now. But I just wanted to show you guys my little grocery haul. It's not a lot. It looked like it was a lot more in the buggy, but I have a small buggy. So let's see what that is. So this is my groceries. I got two cartons of eggs. There are 18 eggs each. This is the scampi sauce I'm going to be using. I got some cherries. I got some lunch meat. Some blueberries. Carrots. These are plums. 
And then I got some cucumber. I didn't realize how much I liked berries until I actually started eating them about a year ago and I've fallen in love. The same with cherries and plums. I don't know why I never tried it before. I just didn't maybe because I thought it was gross. But I love all three of them. And then I also started eating spaghetti squash as well, which I really, really like. So I'm about to take my spaghetti squash out of the oven. It is, well, the oven's done. I'm going to double check to make sure that the spaghetti squash is done and ready for everything else to be done. And then dinner will be So my spaghetti squash is not quite done yet. So I'm going to put it back in the oven for about another 20 minutes or so. And then come back and check on it. But in the meantime, I'm going to be putting together the rest of dinner, which is just cooking the shrimp and heating up the scampi sauce. So I have the shrimp in the pan about to start frying, but this is the scampi sauce that I got. It's Campbell's um, Classic Scampi. I have tried their other one, which is, um, I honestly can't remember. I think it was like maybe sweet and sour or sesame something. I did not like it, um, so I'm hoping that I really like this because I love shrimp scampi. I'm going to try this one. Hopefully I like it. This is what my um shrimp scampi it's looking like i couldn't find my parmesan cheese that i wanted to put on top of it so i just put regular cheese on top of it i did try the scampi sauce i did not really like it so i mixed in maybe about a serving of this classico four cheese alfredo to maybe give it a different taste it tasted very bitter like and very strong with lemon this is what it looks like. I'm going to put it back in the oven for maybe about five minutes or so just to get that cheese melted a little bit. Okay, so I am sitting down ready to eat. I did find my Parmesan cheese. Um, but I want to show you guys my scampi. It is all done. I'm really excited to try it. So this is my shrimp scampi with my um spaghetti squash. I'm going to try it. Be right back. It is really hot, but I'm going to try a bite real quick. I see that I miss some seeds. But anyway, let's try this. It's a bite. It's hot, y'all. It's steaming. I don't want to burn my mouth. Hold on. Okay, so I think it's cold enough for me to try it. I like it. It was good. It has a good taste. I'm pleasantly surprised. It is really good. You guys should try this. Okay, y'all. I'm done with dinner and I've eaten just about all that I can eat. It is falling apart. It was delicious. I did need more shrimp. However, it was good. Okay, it is that time again for me to do my daily workouts. Today is Thursday, August 3rd. So, I'm going to be doing armless squats and walking in place. Okay, so I'm starting off with arm lifts. Today, I need to do 15. And I'm going to use my dumbbells again. I sped this little bit up um, just because I think it was a little bit boring um, and kind of embarrassing to watch. So, I sped through it a little bit, but I left it in the video. So I just finished walking in place for five minutes. It was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, I do walk at my job normally, but not in the same sense of uh, trying to lose weight. So it was a little bit harder than what I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, it was a little bit harder, but I'm going to keep working at it. I'm not going to give up. Okay, so we have made it to the end of the video. It is getting late. I have to get up to go to work in the morning. However, I thank you for watching my video. There are a few things that I feel like I need to work on. Like, I feel I'm more confident whenever I do the voiceovers versus being directly in front of the camera. And I also need to work on my filler words, such as like, and, so, and, okay. I feel like I say those a lot. I just, I'm not very confident right now in actually making videos. 
so hopefully over time that will get better and once again i thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe and like thank you